Now, for obvious safety reasons and just being a responsible airsofter, I did not bring my AEGs outside to lean them up on the car while out in my driveway. But um, I did find a little small broom just to give you guys an idea. You would basically take your AEGs, your rifles, your VSR-10s, you know, whatever airsoft gun that you're using, and you would lean it up against the, the foam pad. Now, look, it is very soft. And I do find that the magnet on here is not very, very strong. But it doesn't need to be. Once the weight of the, the gun is leaned up against it, it's not really going anywhere. The vehicle's not moving. You shouldn't be shaking it up and down. It is just there so you can rest your gun. Leaning the guns here on the vehicle works ideal for our setup. We go to games. And we have the easy up set up right behind the vehicles. Leaning the guns on the vehicles is not that big of a deal. And again, like I said, the magnet's not very strong. So I don't see it being much of a scratch issue. Now it may, over time, if you're going back and forth with it, taking it off, putting it on, over time it may, you may get some small scratches. But we're not talking, take it to the body shop to get repaired. It's strictly just a little polish and waxing. You should be fine. But... I don't have any problems using this thing on my vehicle. Well, here you are, guys. I got it with some guns. Um, M4 length, M4 length uh, S system, which is pretty much an M16 length. And um, as you can see here, it holds the three guns well. They lean right up against it. Now, as I was getting to in the previous portion of the video, the magnet on the back of the mag rack is similar to the magnets that you find on uh, refrigerator magnets. Why would they use such a weak magnet? Well, when the guns are leaned up against the mag rack, it's not going anywhere. The weight from the guns plus the little bit of magnetism is causing it to stay where it needs to be. It's not going anywhere. They're not going to tip over. They're not going to slide off. And the weak magnet ensures that you will not scratch the surface of whatever you're mounting the mag rack to be it your vehicle and right here I have it on a freezer a wall lock or something that you're leaning or that you're placing the mag rack on you do not want the magnet to be too strong because as you're putting it on and taking it off sometimes it'll slide that's a deep scratch um, putting it on if the weight is too much like if the magnet has a lot of weight to it that may cause a scratch or a chip so I understand why they use the soft magnet which is great for its usage this thing was designed really well and as you can see, the foam is, is that, uh, I think they call it closed cell foam. It's very strong, very thick, but it's still, you can move it around fairly easily. So it's not going to cause any damage to your guns as well. Now this was designed for the hunter or that person who goes out, drives out into the middle of nowhere. And they're getting their gear out and they want to lean their guns up against their vehicles or whatever type of metal or whatever they have out there. Just to get them out of the way. The reason why I found it interesting is because when I go to airsoft events and we're playing outdoors and it's a team of us, we have our easy ups, we have our chairs, and we have our tables. What I find is that we clutter up the tables with our guns when we get done playing or in between matches. And I just wanted a way to get the guns out of the way but still keep them from being laying in the dirt or just out of people's sight. This way the easy ups are set up right at the back side of our vehicles. We still have easy view of our AEGs or our airsoft weapons and uh, they're in a safe location out of the way, not in the way, not taking up valuable space for the tables where we're loading our magazines, trying to set up our gear or for that rare moment where we have to take a gun down and work on a gun. It leaves the table open for what it needs to be used for the most. I find too often that I come back and there's teammates, there's myself, we all put our guns down. That table is pretty much useless for anything else. Now we usually have two or three tables. And one table is eliminated because people keep putting their guns down. Or, at the last event, guns and gear were placed in people's chairs. That's not what the chairs are for. We just finished running around in 90 degree weather, we want to have a seat. Lean your gun up against your mag rack and use your seat like it's supposed to be used. Use the table for what it's supposed to be used for. Um, usability, I give this a 10 out of 10. Build quality, I give it a 7 out of 10. 
And the reason why I only give it a seven is because the glue that is used to to uh, connect the two pieces, in some places you can see it, in some places the glue is not everywhere it needs to be, so you have a little bit of separation. Quick fix, easy fix. Add a little bit of hot glue yourself and you can fix that if that is a major issue for you. Also, the magnet did not have glue across its entire surface, so there are portions of that that are a little, that separate a little from the device. But usability off the charts. This thing is great. $17.99 with free shipping on eBay. That's where I got it from. I've seen it on Amazon. Um, Amazon, they have it listed for $13.99, so it's a little bit cheaper there, but you don't get free shipping. You still have to pay for shipping, and depending on where you are, will determine how much the shipping is. But it's still under $20 in most cases, and I think it's a great buy for the money. If you're going to use it the way I use it for Airsoft, there's really nothing that you can get in this price range that's going to be as effective. Now, $34, you have two, or if you can buy them in bulk, you can do that, and you can hold as many guns as needed. I'll probably need two more of these for a total of three in order for it to be useful with the whole team, the entire team. As of late, I've been taking out my bookcase um, gun rack that I built. That's been working really well, but the, the main focus is getting the guns out of the way, off the tables, and off the chairs. Well, enough of the mag rack. I hope you guys are out there having fun, being safe. And also being responsible. And this is Shwell, and I'll hit you with the two fingers. Later.